Today I'm going to show you a healthy plant-based alternative to your typical hamburger. Hi, I'm Jeremy and I'm excited to share with you today this healthy plant-based alternative to your regular hamburger. Now, it's not going to taste the same, but it's still going to allow you to put it in a bun with all the garnishes and, and, and to enjoy a hamburger and to feel good about it when you're done. So please, join me in the kitchen as we check it out. Hi and welcome back to our kitchen. Today I'm excited to share with you a recipe of how to make a pecan oat burger. Now what I like about this burger is that it has uh, some density to it. It's got some uh, texture. And uh, I grew up vegetarian so uh, to me these plant-based burgers are great. Now if you're trying to compare it to a burger at Burger King or so forth, it's not going to be the same. But just think of it as a uh, as a, a sandwich that has a, a good patty in it, okay? Um, I hope you enjoy it. It's called, it's from a source called Stepfast Recipe Box, and uh, some friends of mine uh, modified it, some of the ladies at church, so that it has no oil in it. And it's a great recipe. So let's get started. First, we want to add four and a half cups of water, and we're going to put this in the pan. And I've already pre-measured this, so we've got four and a half cups of water. Then we're going to put a, um, a teaspoon of basil, okay? So I've got some basil here, and I'm going to put a teaspoon, and I don't mind if I go over a little bit, teaspoon of basil, and we're going to put a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then we're going to put a teaspoon of onion powder. This is not really a hard recipe. Um, teaspoon of onion powder. And then we're going to put some amino acids. And I'm going to put a third a cup. Now Bragg's liquid aminos are uh, better for you than soy sauce. And um, you can get these at a health food store or you can order them online. I'll try to remember and put a link in the description below. So I'm going to put a third a cup of Bragg's liquid aminos, okay, inside this recipe. Okay, so we've got this coming to a boil. It's not come to a boil yet. Meanwhile, we're going to make some flax meal. This recipe calls for a fourth a cup of flax meal. And I never buy flax meal at the store because um, I would rather have the flax seed. And so we just try to keep some flax seed on hand. And the reason for that is because when you want to put some flax meal in your cereal or if you want to use it in a recipe, flax meal makes a great egg replacer. If you don't want to use egg, you can just take some um, flax seed and some water and instantly make an uh, egg substitute. But the reason that I like to keep the flax seed like this, coming back to my original point, is that the nutrients, the omega-3s and so forth that are in flax seed are most available in the first 10 to 15 minutes of having been ground. So I always grind my flax seed and try to, I try to eat it right away so that I can get the full nutrient um, value from that. But for the recipe's sake, I'm going to go ahead and make some flax meal, and it's calling for a fourth a cup of, of flax meal. So I'm putting this in a Vitamix. You can put it in a coffee grinder if you have a coffee grinder. And um, I'm just going to turn that on. And again, we're just doing this while we getting our dry ingredients together while we um, wait for this to boil. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get all this together so that I can stir that in as soon as that's done. So right now, I'm going to put the fourth a cup of flax meal in my container. Okay, so just breaking it loose in here and see if I have about a fourth a cup here. Okay, there we go. Whoa, that's a little bit more than a fourth a cup, isn't it? Okay, we'll do a fourth a cup there. That should work out good. Okay, okay so now I've got my uh, food processor over here now. I've got my flaxseed ground. This is about to come to a boil, so we're going to be ready soon. It's time now to just 
take my pecan halves or pieces and to make it into a um, uh, pecan meal. Okay, so I'm going to okay, so I'm going to put four and a half cups of pecan, actually I'm going to put four cups of pecan pieces in here and that should give me four and a half cups of pecan meal. Okay, so I'm putting four cups of pecans and I tell you these pecans just seem to I don't know they just make a good burger so I really um, like to use this recipe okay so I'm going to turn this on just make it into a quick meal okay there's my pecan meal and I'm going to put this, okay, this is done, so I'm going to turn this off. We've got to hurry up and get this in there. Okay. There's my pecan meal. Now I'm going to put a three cups of old-fashioned oats. So I've got my oats. I'll put three cups. And I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and dump this in. And stir this in and then I'm going to stick I've got enough room here I may not <laughs> probably need a bigger container let's see one two three let's see I may have too much let's see if I can get this stirred in I want one cup of quick oats. Okay. I think we can get it to work here. Let me get a hot pad. Oh, and I one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt. Now it says to remove from heat, but this is one of those induction um, stovetop deals. So it shouldn't retain heat as much as a normal stove top. So I'm just letting it sit here. I may take it off a little bit. And I'm just stirring this in so all the ingredients, dry ingredients, can absorb the flavors of the amino acids and the basil and the garlic. Just stirring that all in good. And this is going to sit for about 15 minutes and that's just going to soak in all of that moisture and give us a nice consistency with which to make patties and so I will set the timer here as soon as I've got this stirred in nicely yeah I tell you I um, I like using cast iron I don't use it all the time, but it works great on these little induction ovens. And to me, cornbread is just better in cast iron. So I, I really like to use cast iron when I, when I can. Now it can really stick, so you gotta be careful. But for this, it seems to be just the right size. Maybe a little small, but it worked well. And I've got it all stirred in. And now I'm just gonna let it rest. 15 minutes okay so we've let this rest for a while and so what we're going to do is we're going to make it into patties and you know if you if you if it was just me I would probably just use this ice cream scooper scoop it out and just put it in there and, and give it a little smash and do that or if you want to be real precise you can put it inside here and you can um, which is just a uh, mason jar lid and then place it in there and pick it up and do it like that. So I'll do some that way so you can see how nice it can look. And then I'll probably do some more my way, which is just, you know, I'm not, I'm not concerned with the edges. But l l let me just show you. This is the kind of, you can see, this is a real nice consistency now. Um, real packy. And so it's easy to make your, your oats with now, or your patties. So we're going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees okay so 350 degrees oh and we've already got it 
We've got it preheated and uh, that will be ready for our, our oats, our patties I should say, as soon as we get them in. So I'm just going to put this in here as such, give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay, and And then I'm just going to put it on there like that and boom, we've got it. It's that easy. It doesn't really take much. Now remember, I left this on the burner, but you're supposed to, when you let it sit there for 15 minutes, take it off the burner. Again, the reason I left it on was because this is a uh, induction uh, stovetop piece and it doesn't, um, it doesn't seem to hold heat very long. So once you turn it off, it kind of does well. Um, so I'm just making these. Now I want to just tell you a little bit about the health benefits of this. I mean, we're talking a really heart healthy burger. I mean, comparing this to, there's no comparison to what you would get at Burger King and so forth. And some of you may be saying, yeah, that's right. Well, you know, when you think about how healthy this is, not only does it make a good sandwich, but it, you, f you leave the meal feeling good and satisfied and, and you're not going to have that heavy feeling um, after a bunch of fat and grease where you feel like just you know sitting there and doing nothing. This is just giving you some good energy that you can use to go about your day. And so flaxseed as well as pecans are both very good for cholesterol. Um, they are actually helpful in reducing the LDL cholesterol, and they're also good for increasing your HDL cholesterol, which is the, the cholesterol you want. So um, you, you, that's a great, a great deal. And what's nice is the flaxseed that we added to this helps in just the same way. So you're going to help your cholesterol with both the flaxseed and the pecans. And of course, oatmeal, as we know, is good for your heart as well. Now, the other good thing about the this is getting a little. The other good thing about the um, the pecans or these burgers is that the the pecans are really good and the flaxseed for fighting inflammation. So you know, an inflammation is something you don't want in your body. It's it's um, something that encourages um, problems in your, in your system, whether it be cancer or whatever. You just don't want to have chronic inflammation. And so this is good for fighting that. And I'll tell you, another ingredient you could throw in here, and, and I like to do it a lot of times with when I'm making like french fries and stuff with you know regular potatoes, I like to put turmeric in. And I find that if you just put a little bit of turmeric you know, the yellow powder, and I would have done it for this, but I'm trying to stay true to the recipe. Um, okay, now I'm just gonna do it my way. Um, and you take your pick how you wanna do it. But um, I like to just add a little turmeric, because if, hey, if I don't even notice it, then why not? Because turmeric helps to fight um, inflammation as well. And so turmeric has all sorts of beneficial properties. It's that yellow powder. Again, this doesn't call for turmeric, but you could add turmeric if you like. And um, so I'm just making these burgers and get them all in here. I just want, you know, I remember as a kid, my uh, grandfather, I, I recorded it, so I've always remembered it. Um, he was setting the table one day, one morning. He'd get up real early in the morning and he was setting the table. And when it came time to put the silverware on the table, he already had the plates, he just, he just put the silverware on the table with a knife, fork, and spoon, but he didn't set it there all proper. He just put it on there. And he says, all I care is everybody get, gets their knife, fork, and spoon. And that's kind of how I am with these patties, you know. Um, I just want the patties to be there, and I don't have to have it all precise on the side. But if you're trying to impress or you're just trying to make it look really, you know, like a store-bought patty and not homemade, <laughs> Um, you can make it all round and neat on the side, and, and that's just fine. Um, I like to just, you know, when I make biscuits, for example, I like to just use this big old scoop and just have a big old thing of uh, big old biscuits. I like to make big biscuits. Um, 
but suit yourself. Okay, now you look at that, you can see that some are a little uh, more formed than others, but they were, um, some were made with, with this, some were made with this little gadget. Now I'm gonna put these in for 20 minutes and we'll come right back and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm turning these over now. They've cooked for 20 minutes. And now we wanna cook them for another 20 minutes. So I'm just flipping them so that they'll be evenly cooked. And we will put them back in. And so that way they'll cook for a total of about 40 minutes. And we will put them back in and be back in 20 more minutes. Okay, so I just got these from the oven. They've been baking for 40 minutes. Again, 20 minutes on one side and then flipped them and 20 minutes on the other. And now it's time to see how they taste. Now, I've prepared here a, uh, the, all the fixings or trimmings for the burger. And you may be wondering what this is on top. Well, first let me say, my son Jordan and Tina made these 100% whole wheat uh, rolls or buns. And so they're 100% whole wheat, fresh ground. And then this, these are microgreens. They're broccoli microgreens. And I'll have to do a segment perhaps on that sometime, but broccoli microgreens have, if you ounce for ounce, 40, up to 40 times the nutrient value uh, compared to an uh, ounce of regular broccoli. So you're getting a power punch there of nutrients, um, lots of rich vitamins. And then of course, I've just got the lettuce and onion and tomato. Now, I just wanted to point out, in case you're not familiar, this is uh, Hellman's mayonnaise, but it's vegan. So you don't have the egg in it and so forth. And this product you can get at Walmart or Publix or uh, just, you know, most grocery stores, I suppose, have Hellman's, of course. And if you just look carefully, you can find where it says vegan dressing and spread. And it makes for a nice mayonnaise. Again, it's got fat in it and so forth, so you need to be careful, but it helps moisten the bun. So let's, let's put a uh, patty on here right now. This is a little warm. And I'm just putting it on top of those broccoli greens. Uh, the way I figured, if, if there's anything I can just throw some broccoli greens in, I'll do it. So whether it's on top of uh, my uh, pizza or whether it's in a salad, uh, I, I'll just make a whole salad of uh, microgreens. Again, that'll be another segment. But why not put it in a sandwich if you have them? So I'm gonna put this on top of that and voila. Now that is a sandwich fit for a king. Let's just try it and take a bite and see what it tastes like. Mm. 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 Got too big a bite. But I'll tell you this, it is extremely good. You could try to put these on the grill and just grill them a little bit if you want and have them for a picnic or have them just in the freezer so when you're hungry for a burger, you can throw one together. Healthy, you can feel good about it. You'll feel better after you've eaten it. I encourage you to check it out. Try one for yourself. As you can see, it's not that hard. It takes a little bit of time. Not that hard. So, we'll see you next week. Well, there you have it. A healthy recipe for a burger alternative. And uh, I hope you'll try it out. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Check out the description for the full recipe and uh, consider subscribing to this channel if you'd like. And then also give us a thumbs up if today's presentation you found helpful. Please, won't you join us next time as together we explore greener pastures. Mm -hmm.